Hello everyone, Tina here. Today we're going to create a project using the Spellbinders Glimmer Kit of the Month for June 2020. Um, I hope your day is going fantastic. Thanks so much for joining me. This is the Glimmer Kit here. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Glimmer Plates um, or the Glimmer Hot Foil System, um, I'll leave trying to remember to leave the unboxing down at the um, end of the video for you guys but it's a great foiling system where um, you need your platinum six die cutting machine to use it and the plates that I'm using are part of a club that is a monthly subscription this month's glimmer plates are called let your sentiment shine and you get five gorgeous fonts um, in sentiments and then you get some black foil this month which I think is pretty versatile especially for sentiments um, it kind of reminded me of like patent leather um, which is really nice I'm just trimming down some strips and I and I'm not going to use all of my sentiments for my projects today but I did want to foil all of them to show you how pretty the fonts are so I have my glimmer machine heating off to the side we're gonna scoot it in here it's ready to go I have my first glimmer plate facing up and then I'm going to take my foil and place it face down just finding one that is a little bit smaller here. I'm going to add some white cardstock and then I did add a shim and then my glimmer sandwich here. I'm going to run this through the die cut machine. After my light stops flashing it indicates that it's ready to go. Um, I like to go forward and back and then um, we get to reveal our first sentiment. The rest of the sentiments I did off screen, but um, I think this is just so neat. It's got so much shine in there and it lays flat and the font on here is gorgeous. So I'm gonna do the same thing to all of the rest of one. This is my last one here. We'll just remove um, our foil and we have this one. So I did all five. I'm going to clean up my area, turn off my glimmer machine because that's all the foiling we're doing. Today's cards, I originally was going to do one card and I had leftover pieces and I thought we'll double up and do two. Um, but aren't these sentiments so pretty? The best is yet to come. Friends make everything better. Congrats on your special day. Happy birthday and many more. And a little note to say thanks. Um, my happy birthday one, I have a little bit of excess foiling. And you know what, for it being black, it comes up really easily with a, a sand eraser, no problems. But the font on here is gorgeous, and I think it makes a great focal point for any card. And that's why I'm keeping my cards pretty simple today. I wanted my sentiment just to shine. Okay, for my sentiment, um, I wanted to do a trio of colors, and I wanted to be monochromatic. So I went through my card stock and found three shades of pink. The card stock that I'm using is from from uh, Fun Stamper's Journey, and I have Bubblegum, Watermelon Fusion, and then Sweet Berry. Um, any colors you have that is a trio of colors would work fantastic for my card today. And um, I'm gonna be using some nesting dies. These are square dies, and I wanna take three square dies and making sure the smallest of the square will fit my sentiment. Um, I'm gonna start off with the darkest shade and use the smallest die. Now this would work with your circle dies, your rectangle dies, your octagon dies, um, sky's the limit um, on when you create both of these cards today. But um, you're going to use, I'm actually going to trim off a quarter inch off the top and the side of my panels. My panels are standard size panels which are four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm just taking off a quarter inch. When I do this, it's gonna leave me a slight white border on my card base. And I have a tendency to do that a lot. <laughs> I just like that white border. Okay, all my panels are ready to go. I'll take the smallest die and cut out, cut out a square in the darkest shade. The mid-tone will be the mid uh, middle die. And then the largest die will be your lightest color. You could use yellows, blues, pinks, and even pattern paper would be pretty too. Okay. Everything's die cut. Made sure they were centered when I die cut it. So when you layer them together, this is what it looks like. And I think that looks pretty amazing and it's just gonna frame that sentiment beautifully. Um, we're gonna start off by adding adhesive behind the darkest color, which is the smallest square that we die cut out. And I'm gonna center it, or actually not even center it. I'm gonna push it a little bit to the right um, and then tack that down in my window here. Um, the excess that's overhanging, you can just trim off with your scissors. 
And then um, the reason I shifted it a little bit to the right was because I want to add an embellishment to the left. The embellishments actually that I'm going to be using are the die cut pieces that I used from the small die of the month club kit. Um, and if you want to know how I made them, I'll link that video at the end also. But this is what they look like. They're just layered flowers that are gorgeous. I die cut them out with white cardstock, um, added a little bit of pink color. Um, on the layering parts of it, but it was just a little too light for my card. So I'm just taking a couple darker shades of Copic markers and just going over the layers of these flowers. Um, so they kind of coordinate a little bit more with my um, my pink cardstock here. I'll do that to both of them, taking a darker shade and dotting my flowers here. Okay, you can see I added foam adhesive behind the other two um, colors of cardstock. We're going to start off by adding this panel directly to a standard A2 size card base. I want to make sure it's centered. And you can see how much of a border it leaves. Okay, now I'm going to remove the release paper off of my mid-tone pink color. And um, just for stability purposes, I kind of went heavy on the foam adhesive. You know what, you guys don't even have to use foam adhesive if you don't want to. But I like the, the dimension that it gives when you tilt it. Um, it's, it's almost like you're matting it. Um, like on some picture frames, you can mat, and that's what it reminded me of. I'm going to remove the release paper off of my, lax, my lightest color here and add that. And so we have a little bit of... Uh, dimension going on. I'm going to use this flower and we're going to pop up um, the floral portion of it with foam adhesive. I did double up on it and then I glued the stem so it sticks to the, the lightest pink cardstock here. It's a pretty simple card but I really wanted those sentiments are so pretty I just wanted it to stand out and I love the outcome. Now here's my leftover pieces from when I die cut out the windows. We're going to put those to good use. I went ahead and foiled um, the sentiment that says a little note to say thanks on my darkest shade of cardstock, which happens to be the Sweet Berry cardstock. Um, I'm going to use the smallest, the same smallest uh, square die to cut out my sentiment panel. Um, I just think that the, the colored cardstock would work better versus the white that I had did earlier. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and adhere my mid-tone pink to my lightest pink, but we're going to shift it all the way to the right. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that together and place it on a standard A2 size card base. And then we're going to place that panel all the way to the right on that as well. Something just a little bit different. Now I'm going to add foam adhesive behind my sentiment, place that in the center of the mid-tone pink cardstock here. And then I'm going to use my last flower that I again made. This is the small die of the month club. Um, but it has lots of club kits. Um, and so I'm going to put this to good use. It was such a pretty flower. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the corner. And then I'm going to use two of the leaves, pop them up with some foam adhesive as well, and do a little tucking with them. Now off camera, I, um, at the end of the video, as I was taking my pictures, I ended up adding one more leaf. <laughs> I took it one more leaf and then tucked it underneath that flower on the bottom corner too. So you'll see three leaves on the, on the final pictures. Okay, so here's my two cards. We're gonna add a little bit of shimmer. We're gonna use some gemstones here. We're gonna add a few around the flower area, kind of trailing down a little bit, and then a few inside the window of my congrats card here. Once that's done, I'm gonna dot my flowers with my Journey Glaze. Journey Glaze is like a glossy accents, and it's just gonna add a little bit of dimension to the center of my flower. Um, and then it'll dry clear too. It goes on a little bit cloudy. But those were my projects for today, guys, using the Glimmer Kit of the month for June. These are sentiments are so fun. And I love that they're all different and great for cards. Um, if you're interested in any of them, I'll link them down below as always. But thanks for joining me. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.